Hey, it's me, Neil. This is my shed. Welcome to Neil's shed. Welcome to my shed. Good day, folks. Neil in Neil's shed once again. Good to see you for episode two. Now look. I know the editing in that last video wasn't fantastic and the man has been fired. Took a quick one week video editing course and I think I can do a better job. So leave a comment and tell me how I'm going. <laughs> Alright, now look, got something exciting to show to you today. Something real good. How's that sound? I've got something absolutely magnificent to show you and I'm very, very proud of it. I didn't create it. I can't take the uh, can't take the credit for that one. <laughs> no way, no how. It's from a friend of mine. One of the only chainsaw carvers in WA. Ha! <laughs> few, few and far between, my friend. And he is fuck absolutely skilled. And I tell you what, chainsaw carver, they're few and far between. Come with me. Here it is. Absolutely magnificent stump. Absolutely magnificent stump. Notice the axe? Beautiful, I know. Now I didn't see him doing that. I didn't see him go on that level of detail, but he did. And it is fantastic. Jesus. Now one thing you can do with this thing is a bunch of things. You can chop wood, you can use it as an anvil, do just about anything. One of my favorite features is this. Now check this out. Seat. Forms a perfect seat and a bench. Now, does that remind you of anything? Does that remind you of anything? You're right, Judge Jar, Jar Binks from Star Wars, The Phantom Menace. It looks just like, I can't believe it. That's just another added benefit of this stump. It's absolutely beautiful. Couldn't be more happy with it. And I'll tell you what, the bloke who came around did a fantastic job smoothing it and leveling it. Now let's talk about this thing's features. What it's really intended for, because it wasn't meant to be a bench and a table, that was just a happy coincidence. As you can see, it makes a perfect chopping block and it just works magnificently. You want a leveled surface for a chopping block? You want it about 45 to 50 centimeters max height. That's the most pristine ergonomical size and ratio. It's just a beautiful, it's a beautiful piece of wood. Wouldn't you agree? And it's a real, it's a real centerpiece for discussion. You know, I have people around here all the time and they come and say, Neil, what's that? Tell them it's my stump. It's just me stump, mate. A few questions come. What do you do with that? What do you do with that, mate? What can't I do with it, mate? What can't I do with it? Here's another example. It's absolutely fantastic for when you really have to just bash something. For example, putting an old axe head on a new handle. It's 
pretty fucking heavy, that thing. Whew, okay. What else? What else can we do in this position? The reasons I'm making a video on this stump, you may be wondering, is it's starting to get colder in WA, and uh, we need to chop some firewood. I figure I'll bring you along for me just chopping some firewood on a gloomy West Australian day. wasn't it, eh? Uh, fuck. absolutely magnificent. It's got a beautiful vein, beautiful, beautiful vein. It really comes out when you smooth that out, smooth that wood out. That's our set for winter, folks. We're gonna be real nice and toasty and warm up in winter. As you can see, stump's really essential. It's really essential to be able to chip and cut out this wood so you got a little bit of fire. Split it, segregate it, put it in the fire, mate. New shape. Love a good piece of wood, don't you? It's nothing like wood. Get amongst it. Australian native tree. It serves as well. It smells good. It smells bloody good. Thanks for coming today, boys and girls. Uh, it's been a lot of fun showing you that pristine stump. How's about that? Bet you didn't think you could do so many things with just one piece of stump. Uh, carve into it, uh, sit on it, use it as a bench, chop wood with it, sit on it, uh, and contemplate your life. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. This has been Neil, and this has been my shed. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, Australia.